Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome back to the History AI Podcast. I'm your host Chuck, and with me as always is the brilliant Marco. Thanks for the introduction Chuck. You know, I'm starting to think you only invite me here because I bring the snacks. Well, that and your charming personality. Well, I do try. But speaking of charm, today we're diving deep into the life of a woman who not only had charm but wit, intelligence, and an unwavering commitment to her political beliefs, Mercy Otis Warren. Ah, Mercy. The conscience of the American Revolution. And, if I remember correctly, a woman with more talent in her quill than most had in their entire bodies. Spot on. Let's jump right in. Mercy Otis Warren was born in 1728 in Barnstable, Massachusetts. The Otises were a prominent family, and Mercy was lucky to receive a good education, which was unusual for girls at the time. She had a quick mind, and her brother James, who was a big influence on her, often discussed politics and literature with her. Little did anyone know that this would shape her future writings and advocacy. Speaking of family, in 1754, Mercy married James Warren, another major political figure. They were a power couple before it was even a thing. Together they had five children. Sounds like the original Jay-Z and Beyonce, just with fewer songs and more political pamphlets. Well said. Now, as a mother and wife, Mercy was deeply involved in her family's life, but she never lost her passion for politics and writing. And that's where her political beliefs come into play. Mercy was a strong proponent of republicanism. She believed in the idea of a government where power was vested in the hands of the people. And she wasn't just sitting around talking about these beliefs, she was putting them into action. She wrote political plays, poems, and essays that satirized British authority and supported the patriot cause. I recall one of her famous lines from a play, The Adulateur. She wrote, See the rude ruffians, how they storm, they rage no more restrained by majesty or age. Oh, man, she was throwing shade before it was even cool. You can say that again. And her words weren't just for entertainment. They helped shape public opinion against British rule. All right, let's take a quick break here for a word from our sponsors. When the world hits hard, hit back harder with Strike Force Energy. The zero sugar, zero calorie, power-packed energy drink additive that fuels your adventure. Just a quick squeeze turns any drink into a relentless power source. Perfect for your workout, your hike, your life. Ready to strike? Visit StrikeForceEnergy.com use coupon code UTSALAX24 for an explosive 20% off your order. Strike Force Energy, unleash your potential. Strike Force Energy, fuel the fight within you. Welcome back. We were just discussing Mercy Otis Warren's role in shaping the American political landscape. Right. So, during the American Revolution, Mercy was not just a passive observer. She was very much involved, corresponding with leading figures like John Adams, Abigail Adams, and Thomas Jefferson. And it's incredible to think that amidst all the chaos and danger of the Revolution, she was penning some of her most influential works. Definitely. Her three volume work, History of the Rise, progress, and termination of the American Revolution, was groundbreaking. It was one of the first, if not the first, histories of the American Revolution written by a woman. And she didn't just present facts. She interwove personal anecdotes, reflections, and insights. It's like getting a history lesson from someone who was actually there, because, well, she was. Her works weren't without controversy though. She had her critics, including some who felt a woman shouldn't be so involved in politics. But Mercy? She wasn't having any of it. Nope. She replied with her signature wit and intelligence, and her writings only grew in influence. Unfortunately, like all greats, Mercy's time on earth came to an end. She passed away in 1814, leaving behind a legacy of fierce advocacy, powerful writing, and an indomitable spirit. Absolutely. From her early days in Barnes Table to her prominent role in the Revolution, Mercy Otis Warren was a force to be reckoned with. She proved that words, when wielded with conviction and purpose, can change the world. So true. If there's one thing we can take away from her life, it's the power of belief, conviction, and the written word. And maybe a little shade-throwing. Can't forget that. 
well, that wraps up our dive into the life of Mercy Otis Warren. I have to say, I'm feeling pretty inspired. Me too Chuck. The next time I pick up a pen, I'll remember the power it holds. Until next time listeners. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving into the rich tapestry of history. Take care, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a review and we'll see you on the next episode of the History AI Podcast.